so in your talkings to people, you must come up against some level of resistance in terms of let's talk about emotions. A what? Oh yeah, you bet. Um, so what's what's kind of your workarounds? Where where do you go with those kind of comments and thoughts from people? Then there's two there's two things from my perspective, which might actually help you as well, or potentially hinder you. Is the first one is for the first two years for the first two years of this process, I used I made it I tried to make it my mission. I put all of my energy and attention into convincing people who didn't believe this didn't believe in this that it mattered. And I realized that I was spending so much time and energy trying to convince those people and it wasn't really working. And some, some people you might change their opinion and yeah. others are just, they're going to laugh at you or not get back to you, whatever it might be. And I was reading a lot of Seth Godin and still do Seth Godin and Simon Sinek and, that, and those sorts of people. And they said, find the people who believe what you believe and then amplify uh, yeah. those people. And so first, the first part of the answer to your question is I don't tend to spend a lot of time trying to convince people that it matters. Right. Yeah. When I introduce this conversation, I show them the cards. Uh, when I introduce this conversation, if they lean into it and they're interested, then I lean in and I'm interested in it. Rather than if they lean away, I'm like, no, nah, I'm going to give you all the, I'm going to give you all the evidence to show you why it matters. Because there's a thing called back the backfire effect, which I think we'll talk about in the masterclass, but I'll share it with you now. If you believe something different from what I believe, so let's yeah. say you believe that the round, uh, the Earth is flat, and I believe it's round, and yeah. I present you with evidence to prove factually that the earth is round and not flat. All it does is reinforce your position even more. Yeah. 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 So I'm really cognizant of that when it comes to this conversation, because no amount of evidence is going to change your belief that emotion doesn't matter in the workplace, unfortunately. Yeah. So that's the first part of that. So I've, I'm wary of that. And I now focus more on the people who do believe. Uh, the yeah. second part though is, uh, you can't change people's behavior by giving them more information. Understanding doesn't create change or knowledge yep. doesn't create change. And so I always get people to play the game before I go into any, any research or, so if somebody's like, Oh, I'm not really sure what you're talking about. I don't really, I don't think it matters. I actually have a pack of cards. I go, let's have a quick, let's run a quick little exercise and we'll just play with the game quickly. Yeah. And by generally speaking, people's response to it doesn't matter or I can't do it or we don't need to do it is because they don't know how to do it. Yes. Right. So an unnamed listed company in Auckland, a New Zealand company in Auckland, senior leader, huge company. Her response to these cards when she first saw them was, I don't give a fuck how my people feel. I just want them to do their job. Oh, okay. Good. Uh, she was the most engaged in the conversation playing the game after yeah. that. But that's her gut reaction, initial response. And yeah. my assumption, my hypothesis is that because she's never had the conversation, doesn't know how to talk about it and we give the label so it happens. Yeah. Or, or guys saying that, uh, one particular guy, alpha male in the room, hands behind the back, saying, oh, "I don't, uh, all I, I don't have any feelings. All I, all I feel is contempt and apathy for the world." <laughs> and so, and those are two of like, I mean, numerous ones, right? Numerous stories. Uh, yeah. But time and time again, those are stories from people who that's their gut, that's their defense mechanism for not wanting to talk about it, and the cards give them a way to talk about it. So playing the game, introducing them to the game in some form before you bombard them with research is really important. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. getting in front of them is key, right? Yeah, because they can feel it. Once they've done that, they can go, oh, actually, they might not even be able to articulate why they can do it now, but they'll have ex they'll, it's, a, it's a tangible, uh, they'll feel something which will help them then change their belief or mindset a little bit, maybe not fully, but just a little bit to give you a chance. Okay. Uh, so that's... um. That's probably the second part. And then, and then once, you've, once you've got a glimmer of hope, once the door's open a jar, then you go, okay, here's the research if you want to read it. 